everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my top 12 of 2012 and these are my top 12 products that I absolutely absolutely love and have been loving in the year of 2012. So I'm going to start off with my favorite mascara. I don't know if it's going to pick it up but this is Prestigious's My Blackest Lashes. Would help if I showed you guys the right way huh? And first of all, this ma this brush is gorgeous. This brush is just enough to just big enough for me. I don't like um, big big brushes, and it is so black. I love a black 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 um, lash, and this is totally totally black. I love it. Um, this one says Intense Black Volume Mascara. It um, does give me a lot of volume, not a lot of length, but I'm telling you, this is just awesome. Next product is from Paraben Spirit. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but this is the best brush cleaner that I have found. This brush cleaner, first of all, smells like oranges, so it's so good. Um, it makes your brushes smell so good. It also um, spot cleans your brushes really really fast uh, I mean what I mean by that is that you can clean your brushes so fast and they dry so fast so if you are on a makeup gig or um, doing makeup and you need to clean your brushes really really fast this is really good for a 12 um, for an 8 ounce I don't know if it's gonna pick it up but it is $12 for this and you don't use a lot um, I've had this for almost six months now and that's all I've used like literally you don't need a lot next product I want to tell you guys about uh, something that is an empty bottle um, I only have like that much left but this is from Sonia Kashuk or Kashuk however you want to say it this is the um, her eye makeup remover and this stuff is awesome um, it's so gentle on your eyes. I have very, very sensitive eyes. My eyes water a lot. Um, they're very sensitive. I wear contacts and stuff like that. So this is like you're washing away your makeup with just water. Um, this does take away, um, take off waterproof uh, makeup like nobody's biz. Bases, color bases and stuff like that. Sometimes I have a hard time taking off the... Um, I have a hard time taking it off. This works awesome. So this is $10. You can get it at Target. It's an awesome product. Max Fix Plus number four. I cannot go a day without using this and I'm at the bottom too on this. Um, I just love this for setting my makeup, refreshing my makeup. Um, I use this as a mixing medium if I need to um, foil pigments or something like this I use that all the time but Max Fix Plus bomb I just love the mist that it puts on my face and it just like brings back hydration to my face especially now in winter um, the, the weather is harsh and I just love this next number five my Urban Decay Naked Palette I love this palette Every you know what it looks like everybody has it everybody sees it um, my favorite color to use is Naked. I love this color as a transitional color. Perfect for transitioning for me. And Buck. I love to use Buck um, to fill in my eyebrows. Oops. And look how pigment that is. Okay, I'm telling you. Such an awesome, awesome product um, palette. Next thing I want to talk about is... Bare Minerals came out with their press, um, press foundation, and when you see it, you can see I already hit pan. I use this almost every day. Everybody, there's mixed feelings about this one because some people says it does, um, it does look cakey on them, and um, it's cakey or it's really um, powdery. I find with this, I get a full coverage because with the other one that I, I, I use, the loose powder, um, I don't get a full coverage. It's beautiful, but it's not full coverage. This, too, this is full coverage, 
action going on um, really with a light hand you can get a really really pretty full covered face with using this and I am in love with this one this one again is from bare minerals um, another product that I've been loving is Tarte's Park Avenue Princess bronzer that's what it looks like I don't know if it the swatch will come up on it but this is an awesome bronzer just to warm up your face it just does so much I use this literally every day and I have not hit pan on it and this is the small sample size of it I have not hit pan on it and I literally use this every single day um, what I do love about this it just warms up my face when you just need that warmth especially now here in winter time I'm a little bit whiter than usual so it really really just warms up my face I love this stuff um a next thing that I love is Josie Maron's 100% pure argan oil this product is something that I need to repurchase because I just ran out of it yesterday I absolutely love this um I don't I use it on everything I use it as a moisturizer with um my daily moisturizing and nighttime um, uh, face regimen. I use it on my hair. It makes my hair so much healthier. I use it on my hands, my cuticles, everything. This is such a great product. You, my elbows. You know, you have any dry spot on your face? Use this. It's so hydrating, and it just. I love the way that it makes my skin feel. And this is Josie Marin's uh, Moroccan. I mean, pure argan oil. Next product is like truly a holy grail product for me is Urban Decay's liner in zero 24 7 glide on pencil in zero you can see how much I love this I've used it I, I, I don't even know this was the big full-size one and I absolutely love this now perversion just came out um, this year um, last year also but I find myself always coming back to this one and I don't I like perversion it gives me such a true blackish black but for work sometimes to me it's a little bit too harsh so I come back to my good old staple my um, 24 zero in zero next thing and this is just one of them but I absolutely adore Maybelline's Color Stay um, Color Tack 2 by Eye Studio 24 Hour Eye Cream. I love this. This is just one. I have a bunch of them, but I absolutely, absolutely love these. It's so highly pigmented, great for bases. Um, I use this mostly as bases, but I have used a couple of them and blended them out for a smoky eye look. But this has now become one of my favorite things. I do love the Benefit Creaseless Eyeshadow and I do love the matte paint pots. But I think for affordability wise and availability wise, this to me is a better product. Um, it does stack up, stack up really, really well against those two products. So, again, another holy grail um, product for me. I probably will do a video um, comparing the three because I do have the three of them and comparing them for you. Next product would be my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Um, it comes up like just like a lipstick in a tube. But I absolutely love the coverage this gives me. It covers, I have naturally, it's a hereditary thing, hereditary thing. I do have bags and dark circles under my eyes. This will camouflage the heck out of it. And I brighten, and just brighten my face. It just, I cannot say anything wrong about it. So creamy, so blendable. I love this stuff. Um... Sometimes you can get it on, <coughs> excuse me, sale. And I think I got this for on sale for like five bucks. I mean, I, you can't beat that. But I just absolutely, absolutely love this. Last but not least, my 12th product of 2012 are my Honey XO 
formerly known as um, eye candy couture pigments these pigments let me just tell you are absolutely absolutely gorgeous they are so affordable and so pigmented two of my favorites are um, candy apple and eclipse and I will open them up so you can see what they look like I use this a lot and it's still full to the top like I literally use this a lot and it's still totally full five dollars gets you a five gram jar and this is candy apple I mean oh my god it's so gorgeous um, five dollars gets you a five gram jar um, one dollar gets you a clamshell sample size even her sample sizes she fills that thing to the top but I do I love me some honey XO pigments I will put a link down below for the um, her website again she did just change I can couture to honey XO so please check that out and these are my um, 2012 top 12 and I'll talk to you guys later bye